Hello everyone and welcome back to the human design Q&A series where in each video I'll be answering one of your human design related questions and today is going to be carnaval edition because here in Barcelona it is a celebration where we all get dressed up it marks the beginning of Lent so 40 days before Easter and yeah it's a lot of fun so why not um so I hope you enjoy I am not a pro cosplayer or Halloween person costume person so anyways, I hope you enjoy anyways. So before we get into today's question, if you want a chance to get your specific human design related question answered by me, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at Crystal Alferrero and just wait for the monthly announcements where I give you a chance to submit your questions. Welcome back, beautiful souls. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Crystal Alferrero. I'm a human design teacher and coach and also founder of the Human Design Academy. And I help people like yourselves learn about their unique energetic blueprint through the human design system. Now today we have a wonderful question from one of my lovely students, Pamela, who asks, how can I find a collaborator as a projector? I desire to recreate my membership with another type, but I don't know how not to invite someone. Would love to hear how you and Eva's collab came about. So before I give my response, I wanted to invite you all to challenge this idea that waiting for the invitation is synonymous with never initiating because in my opinion and my experience it's really not it's a strategy that essentially helps us discern when to initiate and therefore conserve our energy and be more efficient rather than force and initiate all the time as this reaction to fear like so many of us are conditioned to do and because living in this way especially as a non-sacral being is unsustainable it can lead us to bitterness, stress, or burnout. And I say us because I am a projector as well. And again, when we're in that stress state, when we're in that burnout state, it blocks our ability to feel creative, to be creative, to feel fulfilled, and to also live out your highest expression. Another thing I wanted to preface this with is that there is nothing wrong with projectors doing the inviting when it feels aligned with your authority and when you truly recognize the other person. You know, strategy isn't this hard rule, but like its name implies, it's a general energetic strategy that does help us use our energy in the best way. But again, I want you to shift away from thinking that we also always need to be 100% acting and waiting and, and not doing anything and not initiating. You know, we won't always be 100% acting in accordance with our strategy. And I don't believe that perfection should ever be the goal of experimenting with human design anyways. So trust your authority as well to guide when you do the initiating outside of your strategy. So now I'm gonna respond to this question not just in the context of business collaborations, but also tie this into how projectors can do the inviting in a way that's still aligned. For my own personal experience, when it comes to most collaborations like guest coaching and other people's masterminds or being on someone else's podcast or gaining new clients, I typically don't do any outreach and just assess the invitations as they come in, but of course, there are times where, you know, technically I've done the inviting for collaborations. Like if I want someone to come on my podcast or if I want someone to come on my YouTube channel or even work with me, as is the case with my current co-coach, Eva, who is incredible. She's the one that helps me and supports our students in the Human Design Academy. She also does a ton in terms of providing our students with business and human design integration support in the Academy and also helps me with marketing as well. Our collaboration actually came very organically. And even though technically I did give the invite first, I'll share insight into why I felt like it was okay and why I think it all worked out. But first to give you more background on how we met, we basically, like most people in 2021, met online in April of last year. So specifically through Instagram and we hit it off. We were following each other for a few months and there was just this mutual 
appreciation for each other's work. I thought she had a lot of awesome human design business content that I really resonated with. And she would also send everyone who was new to human design uh, to my YouTube channel to learn more. So when I started this academy, I had the intention of wanting to do more specialty trainings like human design and business, but as you know, building a curriculum for a certification program or any course for that matter is a lot of work. So at some point I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a guest coach who can do this training instead or come in and help my students instead? And anyways, you know, put that idea on the back burner and I guess maybe around June when I was still in the middle of launching my first round of the Human Design Academy, Eve and I were messaging back and forth on Instagram and she saw that I was launching the Academy because I'd been teasing it for a while and she said something along the lines of, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing your Academy and send people your way. And so when she said that, I got this splenic hit to message her. I didn't really think about it at all. Actually, I didn't think about it at all. And I casually just asked her if she did guest coaching or speaking. And here's the exact message or invitation, if you wanna call it that, that I sent. So right over here. And yeah, when I sent that, I had zero expectations or attachment. I was literally just curious and thought it would be a great fit because I loved her content. And if it didn't work out, I was totally okay with that. And yeah, as you can see, there was her response and the rest is history. And even though it started off just as guest coaching to start, I ended up expanding her role as a co-coach in the next round. It's not like it was just abrupt and it's not like it just came out of nowhere. I think there were certain factors that gave me that advantage in a sense. So now I wanted to share three reasons why I felt like it was okay to initiate at the time and why I believe it all worked out. So the first thing is that the element of recognition was there. So going back to basic human design, in order to receive an invitation, the first step is always recognition. There needs to be an element of recognition. Someone needs to recognize the value of what you have to offer in order for an invitation to be extended, in order for an exchange to be able to take place. And between us, there was a verbal recognition on both sides. So. I recognized her for her work and she recognized me for mine. And in a way, her recognizing me was also this energetic invitation for me to initiate something. So when I did initiate, I honestly did not feel like I was abrupt or imposing anything or bothering her. I genuinely thought it would be a great opportunity for the both of us. The second reason why I think it all worked out is because I had no attachment to whether or not she accepted it. And like I said, I felt like it would be a great opportunity for the both of us. And I got that splenic hit that this was an aligned match. I had nothing to lose and I felt really, really good about it. So I did it. And honestly, I feel and I see that when you're not super attached to something, the outcome won't cause exhaustion or bitterness because your ability to remain in a sense of peace was never dependent on the outcome in the first place. You know, your energy that you emit is different. It's not needy, it's not desperate. It's expansive and it's welcoming. So I think that definitely helped a lot just detaching from that outcome. And last but not least, I listened to my authority. I listened to my intuition, my body's intelligence. You know, that should always be the final factor, the final decider. Do you feel aligned? Does this feel good for you, right? And, and trust that authority, trust it. And here's the thing that you need to remember, that we're not meant to make decisions with our mind, right? That means I'm not gonna overthink things when I feel like my authority, my body is telling me to just go ahead and ask. You know, your intuition, your authority is not gonna make logical sense, even if that means defying your strategy, even if that means defying all these rules that you think are in place for you. So trust that, follow that, that's what's gonna allow you to create these opportunities from a place that feels good. So to summarize, how would I recommend you going about giving invitations as a projector and initiating as a projector? 
ask yourself these three questions. Number one, is there an element of genuine recognition on both sides? Will you still feel content even if they decline your invitation? And lastly, are you inviting in alignment to your authority? And if you're saying yes to all of these things, then by all means, happy inviting and initiating. Now that's all for today. And if you found this video helpful, I would be so grateful if you could hit that like button and share this video with anyone who you think might find this helpful. And also if you're interested in more Q and A and want to learn more about the human design system, I invite you to subscribe to my lovely channel and also follow me on Instagram at crystal Alferrero. So with that said, have an amazing day or evening wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>